In this episode, we're going to implement lazy loading with Angular 4. Lazy loading is a technique that allows you to render components asynchronously when a certain route is activated. This can help with the initial loading performance of an Angular app. Let's get started by building a new app from scratch with the Angular CLI. Make sure to pass the routing flag so Angular builds a default router for us. Let's start in the app component HTML and just set a router link going to the lazy loaded component, which in this case will be activated on lazy slash load me. The next step is to build the lazy loaded module as well as its components. When building the lazy module, we want to pass the flat flag to keep it in the root directory. Then for each component, we can pass the module flag followed by lazy. That will automatically assign these components to the lazy module. Inside the module itself, we're going to import the root module, then define an array of routes. In this case, we just have one route that points to load me that imperatively loads the lazy parent component. When importing the router module, we use the for child function and we pass it the routes array that we just created. There's nothing special about the parent component. It's all boilerplate code and it just loops over the child component. The final step is to point the app router to this new module. In the route definitions, we create a new route whose path is lazy, then use the load children property to point to that module. So we point to the file path for the module and then use a hash followed by the actual class of the module itself. The end result is the lazy module is only loaded when this route is activated. Let's make sure it's working in the browser open Chrome Developer Tools, and then go to the Network tab. When we activate the route, we should see the components rendered, as well as a chunk.js file rendered in the Network tab. If we take a closer look, we can see it's just a bunch of Webpack JavaScript code telling Angular how to load these components. That's it for this episode. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a pro subscriber at angularfirebase.com. For just a few bucks a month, you'll get access to exclusive content as well as free one-on-one -on -one project consulting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.